Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Thursday, September 27, 2012. We're looking at Baker Hughes Incorporated today, looking at ticker symbols BHI. It's right there. Uh, we can see a massive little move to, to the upside here, a big gap. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then we just kind of roll along sideways here, and then we get a nice advance here as well. So what we have right now looking at it is a high point here, a higher high here, low point here, and a higher low here. So signals on uptrend. We also have seven consecutive days to the downside. Nothing falls straight down, of course. So you should be looking for a reversal here. And then we get today's hammer candlestick formation, which or you could also refer to it as a doji formation if you'd like. When dojis happen at tops and bottoms, you had one over here. Uh, basically, it's just a consolidation period, indecision by investors. They don't know which way to go. That tips and happen, like I said, at tops and bottoms. So finding it here at the bottom would make sense to me as well. Right now, I'm looking at this as an uptrend. Uh, we'll talk about another particular angle you could look at this. But right now, like I said, I'm looking at it as an uptrend. And what I want to do here is look for confirmation the following day. A higher high than today would obviously get my attention. Uh, today's high was 45.94. If I were to see 45.95, I would see that as being uh, an attempted move to the upside here. You'll notice you get this high point here at 50.97. Next one lower. Next one lower, 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 and then right here we get a little, uh, a little bit lower, and here as well, here as well, here as well, and here as well. So we haven't turned that trend yet. As long as that continues to be the case, we're still being pressed down. Uh, bears are still in control there, and bulls are very weak. When that shifts and you see that bulls can push price to a new high compared to the previous day, then you've, you're seeing a shift. All of a sudden, the bears are weaker and the bulls are coming back stronger. So that's why you're watching this. Confirmation of this move will be a close above the blue trend line. I've obviously drawn right here on this uh, chart. You can see from starting at 5097 all the way down. You can see this little... If we were to actually get a close above that one day's candlestick formation above that, that would be confirmation of your buy signal there. You'd be a buyer immediately with the stop set off of the low. Right here, today's low was 45.20, so my stop would be one cent below that at 45.19. I would keep a tight stop on this because we still have this gap down here that was never filled. Not completely. You had a partial fill over here, but it didn't actually go low enough to fill the whole thing. So I would keep a stop there looking for this to make a move higher and test this high here, which would give us about a 10%, 12% gain to the upside. That's a good size move there, and it's something that I, I think we have room to make that move to the upside, uh, at least to test this previous resistance point again. Uh, in any event, I believe that we have the room to make that move because we're already, again, oversold the ultimate oscillator. When the ultimate oscillator pulls back down to the 30 line or lower, you get in extremely oversold conditions. And we are down at that point again. So I'd be looking for this to make a move higher and as long as the markets continue to move higher into the rest of the week. If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free and all we ask in return. Please refer a friend. God bless, take care, and the market analysis video is coming right up. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.